Hello everyone. So in this unit, we're going to try and take everything we've learned about NetLogo and agent-based modeling and agents, and we're going to try and put it together to create our first model from scratch, from the ground up, right? Um, and I'm going to be giving you a lot of the code and explanations along the way, but hopefully leading you through the hand, it's leading you by the hand so you can see how this all works together. And we're going to start with some inspiration. You know, and in 1996, Josh Epstein and Rob Extel published one of the first definitive books on agent-based modeling and social science called Growing Artificial Societies, um, which was populated by artificial economic agents. In other words, their, their basic model, which was sometimes referred to as sugarscape, right, was really kind of had these agents in them that interact in economic ways, right? And that was one of the first examples, and that really inspired a lot of work into using agent-based modeling to explore how um, economies work and how societies work. So we are going to create a simple model of economic agents, inspired in part by Epstein and Axtell's work, and a paper by Draghi Lisku and Yakovenko in 2000. And the basic idea is the following, right? We're going to create a 500 agents that start off with $100 each. And every tick, each person gives $1 to another person randomly. The idea is that this somehow models the exchange economy, right? That I give you a dollar for an apple, you might give me a dollar for my teaching, right? Whatever, right? Um, and if you run out of money at the end, you can't give any more money uh, until someone gives you money. You can't give any more money away. So you can't buy anything if you have no money is the basic idea. So given the fact that we start with this uniform distribution, the question that Dragulescu and Yakovenko and others have asked, right, is what will the final distribution of wealth be in this very, very simple economy, right? So we're going to explore that in the next couple of slides. 